Hey, this is Jake from the Lincoln Bottle Shop. I'm the chairman. And I thought, well, maybe we could, uh, shows are about fellowship and passing information and learning the hobby. And that's pro and preserving the hobby a lot is what the main well, shows are a lot about. Um, as a bottle, bottle collector, I get a lot of what's this worth or you try to get something and a lot of times that, well, I saw this on eBay and there's, that's a whole little different things, but I'm going to try this video and try to pass, uh, do informational videos and try it a little different because the Lincoln show, we've always tried to set ourselves apart by preserving the hobby. That's why we do a uh, theme every year for sodas. And, um, if, if you know our show, you, you know, the themes, uh, we try to honor a different soda to help the hobby learn. So I'm going to try this first video and if it goes well, we'll, um, we'll do some more. If it doesn't, well, we tried. So I saw this one on, uh, another Facebook group about, uh, milk caps and protecting them. I uh, really never gave much thought. I display mine. So, um, uh, so there's, uh, I don't see if I can find one that I displayed displayed my stuff on but uh i found one they uh so we you know i just play them on you know these little coin or small knife displays and i set them up i mean they're pretty but um you know when they're when they're cardboard you know, my hands are greasy and dirty and they, you know, some of them are seen better days. So I saw this on, on Facebook and it does work. So I thought I'd give it a little tutoring on it. Um, we'll go through everything. And as I said, if you like these videos, let me know. We'll try, I'll try to do some more, uh, informational for the hobby. Um, just to preserve it. Um, so let me get on this. Let me show you what I got. See if you like it. Uh, you'll understand. So... I got these. They're uh, coin capsules for American silver dollars. Um, I've already opened these, but they're four ninety nine at Hobby Lobby. But if you get to Hobby Lobby, you can print it off, or you can get get it on your phone through your web their website or app. Forty percent off, so you can get a pack of ten for three dollars. If you're not in a big hurry, you can get them buy one today, go back tomorrow with a say with a with a coupon. But you get online. Get you another one for three dollars. I mean, so if you're a little patient, you can get a lot of them for a little bit. I know on the thing on Facebook says you order them off eBay, but I'm I kind of try to collect. You know, if I can buy them local, I can. So they come in when you open them up. They're in these little kind of cases. So you'll have to open them up. There's a little line right there. I have to use a pair of scissors because I bite my nails. So, but. They're not for these kind of caps. These are uh, tin caps or foil caps. Um, and here's another milk cap. And these are, I call them umbrellas. I uh, said I call them umbrellas. They have a little, um, little thing there, kind of umbrella on them. So um, they don't fit those. But what they do fit is um, this style cap, the regular old what I call pog caps because when I was a kid, we used to play a game called pog and they were a little disc about similar to this. I think they're another name for them in the, in the milk world, but I guess that's not the point, but, uh, tr trying to protect them has a better view of what I display mine on. Just set them up there and set them up like that right there. That's the way I have them displayed on my shelf. But, uh, cause I mean, as you can tell, some of them seen, seen better days. Here's one that I got that's seen a lot better days from just from time and touching and all that. So what you got is that you, um, I already opened this one up to save some time. That's the bottom of them. So, um, let's see here. We can do a little better than that. Get a white surface. Maybe that'll help give some color variation. There's the bottom of them. And then what I do is I take my little, my cap, my pong, standard size, put them in there. And then I take, it comes with this little regular ring. I, I couldn't get it to fit on there. 
So what I do is um, I stick mine just on top as like a little washer for say. There we go. See how you can stick it in there. Even with the washer, little seal, it don't come out. But we want to what we want to protect it 100 percent. So and then you got there's the top of it, and it goes on there. You squeeze it together, back together, and now you got your cardboard caps protected. So for display and keeping the dust and everything off of them. Um, I know some of these came a little different size. This is the standard pog top is what I'm going to call them. And it works out great. As I said, they're the uh, Silver Eagle coin capsules. So, um, so when in doing that, um, so hopefully that'll help you guys out, protect your milk caps. As for say, I mean, as I said before, maybe, you know, so just a little help on the hobby and um if you guys you know if you guys have any questions or concerns i said i got mine at hobby live for three dollars with a 40 percent coupon so um just uh, i know this is the first video so it's kind of rough but if you like these kind of videos i'll try to do some more to, pro to pass some information around and not necessarily value um because that's a whole different kind of uh information and um i think everybody has their own way of valuing some items so but i'm gonna try to if you guys like this on pres preserving the hobby and general knowledge of stuff um let me know we'll try another one if you don't like it let me know ah uh, i mean that's that it won't won't uh, be a won't be that bad I just wanted to give it a shot since we've got a lot of new guys in the hobby. So um, hopefully this will help you and hopefully we'll be able, you guys like them and we'll do more. If so, great. Uh, just let me know and we'll do some more. I'll try to do one once a month or so uh, with the information I can contain on different things. So um, thanks for watching and maybe we'll have another one next time.